Hello and welcome back to GoldStockTrades.com. Today we have with us Dusty Nickel. Dusty is CEO of European Uranium. European Uranium can be traded as EUU on the Venture, and it also can be traded as EUUNF on the OTC. Thanks, Dusty, for being here with us today. Oh, thank you, Jeff, for the invitation. Dusty, let's talk about Europe and the future of nuclear power. Is there any developments that you've seen recently? Well, more than specific developments, I think what we're seeing is a continuation of the trend um, and the underlying um, direction that motivated uh, the direction our company has been taking since we, since we formed this company under the new name a year ago. Although some countries in Europe, specifically Germany, uh, continue to talk about getting away from nuclear, we still see on the continent as a whole uh, an increase on dependence on nuclear power, a lack of alternatives to nuclear power that don't lead to a vast increase in greenhouse gas emissions. And I think if one steps away from some, from some of the post-Fukushima political rhetoric uh, and politically motivated statements, I think one sees the future of nuclear power in, in Europe continuing to increase. Meanwhile, as we've been saying, uh, since we renamed this company and, and acquired new assets a year ago, Europe still has only one operating uranium mine in the Czech Republic and remains the world's largest per capita consumer of uranium with very little source of uranium within the continent. So we continue to see, um, medium to long term, a, a great future in providing uranium to feed what will be a growing demand for nuclear power on the European continent. Dusty, let's talk about the progress that you made in 2012, which cul culminated in the recent memora me memorandum of understanding that you signed with the Slo Slovakian government. Well, 2012 was a watershed year for us. In, in chronological order, three things happened in 2012. Very early in the year, we completed the, the set of corporate transactions that led to our emergence with a new name, new assets, and new capital structure, that is, as European Uranium Resources Limited, uh, with uranium properties in... Slovak Republic, Sweden, and Finland, with the Riva as a major shareholder. Uh, the second event was done, as still early in 2012, was the completion of a third-party pre-feasibility study on our flagship Kurishkova uranium project in Slovakia, demonstrating that Kurishkova, uh, we had known for quite some time that Kurushkova was, was one of the highest grade uranium resources in the world. The pre-feasibility study demonstrated that Kurushkova could be one of the world's lowest cost uranium producers and further demonstrated that the production stream from Kurushkova would be such that about 25 or 30 percent of Kurushkova's production would be sufficient to meet all of Slovakia's uranium consumption needs. For context here, I will point out that Slovakia gets close to 60% of its power from nuclear, is very heavily committed to nuclear power generation, and is on a per capita basis the world's third largest consumer of nuclear power. These two events set the stage for the third major event, which we just announced this morning, and that was the signing of a memorandum of understanding with the Slovak Ministry of Economy, essentially acknowledging from the side of the Slovak Ministry of Economy that the Kurishkova deposit is a major strategic resource for the Republic of Slovakia, reaffirming Slovakia's national policy to limit dependence on foreign sources of energy minerals, and telling us that if we can continue demonstrating that the Kurishkova project can be built as an economic mine with uh, using best available technologies 
and with a minimal environmental impact. Uh, in other words, if we can continue designing the mine the way we designed it in the pre-feasibility study, that the project can advance in conformance with Slovakia's national energy policy. This is a major achievement for us. Um, although it does not represent the granting of permits, what it says it, is that there are no uh, untoward hindrances or out-of-the-ordinary uh, requirements in order to advance the project and get it permitted. So th this has been a major year for us. When I look back on the year, we started with the belief that the attraction of Ariva as a significant shareholder of the company would give us the credibility and prestige to advance our discussions in Slovakia. Uh, as we started the year believing that we had a tremendous deposit, but then being able to document it via a third-party pre-feasibility study to, to now end the year with a significant announcement of support from the Slovak government is, is a very major achievement for us. I and mean, we, we couldn't be happier than we are with the way the year has ended. So, Dusty, let's talk about as we transition from 2012 to 2013, what are the main goals from a corporate perspective for 2013? We have three goals, all of which need to... Actually, I would say four goals, um, all of which need to advance hand-in-hand. Hand. Goal number one, we have now political support for the project. Clearly, we wouldn't have political support if we didn't already have public support for the project, or at least sufficient public support. But it's very important to us now to continue the education process in the project area so that we continue engendering the, the underlying support by the people living in the project area for our project and the understanding on their part of what this project does for them. Second is to continue advancing the feasibility study. Um, we expect to start field work again early in the new year in order to continue advancing the feasibility study, we're not making any design parameter changes, any major changes from the pre-feasibility study, uh, but we'll continue work on that. Third is to continue discussions with parties that are interested in working with us at the project level so that we can finance completion of the feasibility study in a way that's not dilutive to our shareholders. Those are the three priorities within Slovakia. Those all need to advance hand in hand to be meaningful. The fourth aspect is, and outside of Slovakia, as you know, we have some very exciting exploration properties in Sweden and Finland. We've chosen to focus on our flagship property, Kurishkova, but we look forward during the, the coming year to being able to show that, that the exploration upside on those properties can be realized and using that upside to expand our resource base for the future. Well, Dusty, thanks for being here with us today and for giving us an update on 2012 and some goals going into 2013. Well, Jeb, thank you very much. As always, it's a pleasure talking with you, and I look forward to answering any questions uh, you or your subscribers have as, as we proceed into the new year.